What is up my valley peeps, Cadient here. Kamen Rider has had many forms in its 51 year history, belonging to well over 200 riders. With there being so many, some do get left behind and end up not being used, though occasionally they do get uncovered. I already talked about quite a few back in a video in May, and since that was so successful, in today's video I'll be talking about even more of them. Credit to the Kamen Rider wiki for some of the forms being featured in today's video. Once again, this is a topic I'm rather passionate about, so if you do enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it, join my Patreon for £2 a month to see my videos early, and let's get started. There will be coverage on all three areas of Rider in this video, and we'll start with Showa. Both of the entries for Showa are actually related to the era's penultimate Rider, Kamen Rider, ZO. Firstly are some proposed power-ups for ZO, and there's three of them. This one being the first, simply referred to as Zedo Upgraded Form. This was designed by Keita Amemiya, though the design was never used because the producers for Zedo changed their mind. Putting base Zedo next to it for comparison, it looks pretty good, with now having a distinct belt, a scarf reminiscent of Ichigo, and silver forearms and forelegs. Now the other two are from this magazine scan, and we'll start with the one on the left. This is what's called Senior Rider Remodeled Zedo, designed for an unmade sequel to Zedo and is a very drastic and bizarre change in his appearance. Here's base Zedo next to him for comparison once again. This form is made up of remodeled body parts with the powers of seven previous Showa riders. V3 with a radar on the left forearm, Rider Man with a cassette arm like weapon on the right forearm, X with flippers on each foot, Amazon with powered up teeth and biting ability, Stronger with a dynamo on the shoulders, Skyrider with wings on the back, and Super Wong with a rocket on the waist. This last one is simply called New ZO. I couldn't really find any information on why this wasn't used or anything like that. It's a more noticeable change than upgraded ZO, but nowhere near as much as remodelled ZO. This form appears to bolder the yellow lines across his body, giving him the kanji shin, meaning new, on his torso and right shoulder, and the nana kanji on his left shoulder, armour on his forearms and forelegs, and wing-like appendages on his back. While the scan isn't in colour, it's implied the colour scheme is split half and half vertically down the body. Definitely an interesting design for sure. Now whenever there's multiple forms for a single entry in this video, I'll be ranking all of them from least favourite to favourite. And for Zedo's power-ups, Remodeled Zedo is my least favourite and Upgraded Form is my favourite. Now the only other one for sure is a new rider for Zedo, Kamen Rider Gay. Although taking the pronunciation of the Japanese kanji used for gay into account, it's more like Kamen Rider Guy. No, no, not that guy. Anyways, Guy was first in, in concept art for a Blu ray box of the Shin, Zedo, and J films. As for Guy's design itself, it's very reminiscent of Kamen Rider Shin. Both rather monstrous in appearance, albeit Guy being way more so, having a monstrous grasshopper head, a grasshopper like appendage for one arm grasshopper like forelegs and what looks to be a pair of very thin wings on his shoulders which I doubt could sustain him in flight. A very unusual design for sure, and what's more weird that when putting the kanji for Guy into Google Translate, apparently it means a, a victory song? Which uh, doesn't line up at all. <laughs> now on to the second era, Heisei, starting with Phase 1. These first three entries here are all from Ryuki and the first one is a blank form for the secondary rider, Knight. First seen in the 2003 Kamen Rider art book, Kamen Rider Art Collection Hirohen. Here's Base Knight and Ryuki's blank form for comparison. Honestly, it doesn't feel like there's much difference between Base and Blank Form Knight, given how Base Knight's colour scheme already has a lot of darker colours. Next up is a Survive form for Raya, accessed with the Survive Shippu Advent card. Whilst never appearing in any media, it can be seen in concept art designed by Heisei Kamen Rider costume designer Tamotsu Shinohara, first appearing in volume 104 of the Uchu Sen Tokusatsu magazine. Later on, a company called Mega House released a figure of Raya Survive based on the concept art, called Artworks Limited Kamen Rider Raya Survive. As for the design itself, Raya Survive is a solid improvement on base Raya considerably giving him more upper body armour whilst also increasing the size of the evil visor into a bow-like weapon, now called the evil visor's Vi. The helmet has also changed quite a bit too, now being pointy at the top and resembling a manta ray, 
with a ponytail now also extending from the back of the head. And in regards to Rai's contract monster, Evil Diver, it now becomes Exo Diver, which I have got to say is such an awesome name. Wait, Blade? No, 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 not that Blade, this Blade. Much like the previous entry, this rider was designed by Tamotsu Shinohara and first appeared in the same issue of Uchisen as that one. This was a concept design for the rider form of the original intended recipient of what would become the Raya card deck, Yuichi Saito. When he was offered the card deck by Shiro Kanzaki, he turned it down and ended up getting eaten by the monster Gold Thunder. Saito was a friend of Yuki Tezuka, who would take the deck for himself, contract Evil Diver and become a rider to avenge Saito and end the rider war. Gold Thunder would have actually been Saito's contract monster if he had taken the card deck, becoming Kamen Rider Blade before the Kamen Rider Blade we have now. Ryuki's blade isn't too much different from Raya, having different upper body armour and wielding a very cool looking sword. Definitely wouldn't have minded if we had this guy instead of Raya, I like both designs honestly. Second to last for the Heisei Phase 1 is a trio of unused Fives Riders, yet again designed by Tomotsu Shinohara and first appearing in Volume 109 of the Uchu Sen Tokusatsu magazine. From left to right we have Kamen Riders Neo Alpha, Pyron and Cedar, based on the Greek letters Alpha, Pi and Theta respectively. These three were featured in the mock-up of a Smart Brain Autumn Sales catalogue, based on the bestseller Omicron series being developed from the Ryo Troopers' rider gear. Neo Alpha was under the section for Pfizer's movie, Paradise Lost, developed by Smart Brain for orthodox citizens to guard against assaults by human forces. Pyrong was designed for civilian recreational use, and has the Chinese kanji for white dragon, Pai Long, on its right thigh, and alternate etymology for Pyron. Cedar was designed to be used by the authorities, including the military, police, and rescue workers. In terms of ranking these three, Cedar is my least favourite and Neo Alpa is my favourite. Finally for Heisei Phase 1 is a rather unusual one, scrapped concept art for the AR World version of Rider Man. The actual AR Rider Man didn't actually transform into Rider Man on screen, rather just swapping out his prosthetic arm for a blaster arm while staying in human form. This concept art for him would have seen him transform, with a very detailed suit to boot, and honestly it just screams edgy. <laughs> Most of these have a suit resembling a futuristic version of Rider Man with just a pair of goggles on the head, but one of them does have a full head helmet akin to the original Rider Man. And while I'm not going to rank all of these with how many there are, I'd say my favourite design of these is the top leftmost one. On to the second half of the Heisei era. The first couple of entries both pertain to O's. Now normally CSM belts don't introduce new forms, but the CSM O's driver was an exception, giving O's five new combos utilising future core medals that previously made a brief appearance in Movie War Mega Max. From left to right we have the Sarami Uo combo, the second aquatic combo made up of the following core medals, Same or Shark, Kujira or Whale and Okami Uo or Wolffish, which were actually probably used in Mega Max by Kamen Rider Poseidon. Then we have the Arthropod core medals that make the Picasso combo, recreated from the Black Crustacean medals seen in Movie or Core, Evie or Shrimp, Kani or Crab, and Sasori or Scorpion. These medals would later be used by Kamen Rider Birth to access his new power-up called Birth X. Thirdly we have the Horned Creature core medals making up the Shigazeshi combo, the involved core cool medals being Shika or Deer, Gazelle and Ushi or Cattle. Penultimate are the poisonous creature medals used in the Mukachiri combo, consisting of Mukade or Centipede, Hachi or Bee, and Ari or Ant. In Ozu's V Cinema, Kamen Rider Goda used super like variants of these medals to transform. The last future combo is the Seishirogin combo, made up of animals that live in super low temperature environments. Seiuchi or Walrus, Shirokuma or Polar Bear and Penguin. In terms of ranking these, Shigazeshi is my least favourite and Sarami Uo is my favourite. This isn't it for future core medals though, we have one more along with a Gamba Ride exclusive form, Tayadoba and Tapamba respectively. Both random combos accessed with the Yadokari or Hermit Crab and Panda medals, respectively. 
These are both much like the Kangaroo Medal, being individual medals that don't have full combos, though unlike Kangaroo which could be used in the chest or leg slots, both Yadokari and Panda can only be used in the chest slot. I definitely prefer Tayakoba over Tapamba. The latter is just a partial repaint of Tatoba, while Tayakoba completely changes the shoulders and hands, and I especially like the latter, they kinda look like reverse drills. We're on stage now with Gaim Jimba Melon Arms. An alternate version of Gaim's upgrade form, this would have utilised the Melon Energy Lock Seed in conjunction with the Orange Lock Seed. Here are Gaim's other Jimba Arms for comparison. Now each of Gaim's existing Jimba Arms has a unique enhanced power. For Jimba Lemon, it's Strength. For Jimba Cherry, it's Speed. And for Jimba Peach, it's Hearing. Jimba Melons was never known, but my idea for it would be enhanced bowmanship. I must note though that Melon Energy has been used in Jimba combinations by other riders. By Zangetsu in SIC and later the Gaim novel with the Melon Lock Seed. And unusually, Bravo, once again in SIC but with the Durian Lock Seed. Leveling up with our penultimate Heisei entry, we have Snipe Tank Shooting Gamer Level 4. Now, Bang Bang Tank was a gash that used by Kamen Rider Snipe in his base form, exclusively for a weapon finisher in a side special. Many people anticipated a physical release of this gash at, some wondering what level form it would be used for, most I remember saying level 100. It took years, and many people thought it would never release. That is, until earlier this year however, we got a pleasant surprise, the Bang Bang Tank Gasha got announced for a release in the Premium Bandai set with the Mighty Novel X Gasha, along with concept art for a form of snipe using it in a level 4 form. Here's it next to base snipe for comparison, Bang Bang Tank grants snipe tank-like blasters on his left forearm and chest, treads on his feet, and unlike any other form of snipe, rather than removing his cloak, changing it for a nano one with a camo-like pattern. For another comparison, here it is with Exceed and Brave's level 4 forms, being the only one whose game is the same series as their base form gacha, and definitely the best one of the three. One last comparison is a bit of a fun one. Snipe now has forms of attack for on foot, land, sky and sea, with all of them except Jet Combat being from the Bang Bang series. An attack on four fronts! Revolving into our last one for Heisei is just one entry for build, specifically Evol and his black hole form. During build we still had toy catalogue scans and in the same one that revealed Evol and all of his forms, including black hole, in the Evol trigger scan it included a further power up to his black hole form called Fever Flow Mode Ultimate Body, which was largely silhouetted and mostly cut off, but from what we could make out it looks largely similar to black hole already albeit with some slight changes to the shoulders. The FIFA Flow sound was incorporated into the final toy release of the Evil Trigger and the show, but when it was used in the show, it was in conjunction with the Black Pandora panel, and it didn't turn Evil into FIFA Flow mode ultimate body, rather a monster form called Evolto Phantom State. As much as I love Evil, not seeing the original FIFA Flow mode in its ultimate body in full isn't too much of a loss, honestly. On to the final and current era, Reiwa. And just a heads up, all of these are from the recently finished Kamen Rider Revice. First up is the early design for Vice's Jackal genome. If you've seen my ranking of Revice's initial 10 genomes, you'll know I'm not a fan of Revice's Jackal genome, and that includes Vice's early design for it. Here's Revi along with Vice's final design for the genome, which ended up changing to a skateboard. I'd assume there were real world reasons the design was changed, but the early design was in the show and was changed by George Karazaki because Vice saw and complained about it, so George changed it to what it is now. Now for the main bunch of Revice's unused forms. In the Revice Hyper Battle DVD, Revi and Vice gained access to Kangaroo Genome based on Kamen Rider build. I do have my complaints about the stamp colours not matching the original Rider, but I'll save that for another time. In the special, we ended up seeing concept art for genomes based on three other riders from Build, Cross, Grease, and Rogue. The only non-primary legend rider to have a vice stamp is Joker via the Condor vice stamp, so these were pretty nice to see. Let's go through them. First up is the Cross-themed Neotori or Chicken Genome, 
which ends up turning Vice into a chick-like form. Admittedly, it's rather cute. Free Vice form looks good here, not much to say really. I didn't get the white used for the chicken on the Vice stamp at first, until I realised it was because of the arm spikes. In the end though, Neotori is my favourite of the Build Riders Vice stamps. Now on to Greece, his revised genome is Kirin, or Draft. Vice looks the most humanoid out of any of his build fiend genomes here. I like the shoulder and forearm armor, though the neck is absolutely absurd. I get why, though it's just absurd. As for Revi, I like the idea of making the helmet horn like a giraffe neck, though the mouth plate, along with the giraffe like spots on the chest and shoulders, do look a bit odd. Kieran does have a few distinctions from the other two concept genomes, though. It's the only one whose stamp mark has clearly been seen, and it's also the only one which is actually in the Demons driver. Finally for the build genomes is Rogues, which gets the Funkorogashi or Dung Beetle, Vice Stamp and Genome. I know Revice has some unusual animal choices for riders, but this one is just plain odd. <laughs> Though despite that, it actually looks really good. Even with Vice being a giant bull, Revi actually looks pretty great. Rogue's purple definitely fits onto Revi well. As for ranking the genomes, I'll do Revi, then Vice, then both together. Firstly for Revi, Kirin is my least favourite and for Gorogashi is my favourite. Then for Vice, I'd say that's the same, Though this time, it took a while for me to decide whether to put Niwatori or Funkorogashi at the top. So that means, overall, Kirin Genome is my least favourite Build Rider concept genome, and Funkorogashi Genome is my favourite. Final one for Revice and the video is unused Genomixes for the Demons Driver, and there's seven of these, four animals and three miscellaneous ones. The four unused animals being Jaguar, Whale, Suru or Crane, and Bear. Well, and Suru, I initially speculated to be the animals used for the Kabuto and Ghost Vice Amps respectively, before they revealed to be Omukade, or Giant Centipede, and Kurosai, or Black Rhino. The three miscellaneous ones are Extra, which is Red Eyes, Anana, which is a DNA helix, and Anana Anana, which is Blue Eyes. Firstly, for the Red Eyes, while no one or any stamp comes to mind, these very much look like the eyes that briefly appear during Over Demons' transformation. Secondly, for the DNA helix, while it's not released yet, I definitely think this will be the display used for the Twin and Tri Chimera Vice stamps, given their stamp mark is also a DNA helix. Finally, for the blue eyes, they're very reminiscent of Vice's eyes. So that was the second instalment of Unused Rider Forms. I do hope you all enjoyed that. If this does well again, another video might be in order, though I'll also have to see how many more unused forms I can find. If you all have got any suggestions for ones I've yet to mention, do let me know down in the comments below, along with your thoughts and what your favourite unused forms are from this video. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and share it, and I'll see all you valid peeps next time.